I am a rustic. I am a sensuous person. <laughs> For me, more is more. And I cannot imagine why when you can have five textiles layered on top of each other, you would want to like pare it down to one. I think minimalism is a cop out. It's much harder to have lots of things and and have them adjust harmoniously in a way that's beautiful. When I was doing my wallpaper, the person at that Nilaya store sweet and all. But don't you think it's too much? I was like, did I ask you, Baba? I know now what I want. But most people put all white and one more. I am not most people, darling. Hi, this is Parmesh Shahani, author of two books so far, Gay Bombay and Queeristan. I have worked across business, the creative industries and academia in uh, different capacities. Of late, I have become a very very passionate champion and advocate for LGBTQ inclusion in workplaces. As an out and proud gay Indian myself, I think it's very important that we co-create an India in which everyone feels equal, everyone feels included. So the house is a two bedroom apartment about 900 square feet in Vikroli which is a gorgeous suburb in the central and eastern part of Mumbai. It overlooks the beautiful beautiful mangroves and it's beautiful beautiful to wake up and to actually see the mangroves every day. When you think of Indian an Indian aesthetic. It's a paisley or it's carved things or it's a very ethnic, ethnic notion of what India is, right? To me, it is very much about contemporary Indianness, not in expected ways. My love for textiles is like you can see here. This is a beautiful um, Oriya sari, which is hand painted. This is Kantha applique, accessorizing my outfits. As you can see, they're all ready. Kurtas, necklace, everything's all ready. The necklace is from a South African brand called Dolce & Banana. Whether it's the home, whether it's the clothes, I love going to stores, I love meeting the artisans, I love acquiring the fabric, and then I actually love the process of making it alongside the tailor. We can't do this anywhere else, right? India is one of the only countries in which we can actually have this whole beautiful backstory to everything we wear or we surround ourselves with. I wanted every element to be super, super personalized. The sofa is from Transform. We made it to specification. It's elevated because I'm six feet once, but I didn't like the material. So Latika Khosla from Freedom Tree actually designed about 15 meters of this sofa fabric. And I also like to really, really, in my home decor, use a lot of fashion textiles or textiles in general that you wouldn't find in decor. This wonderful chicken from Sanat Kada in Lucknow. The gold divan covering is actually a raw mango Sanjay Garg shawl. The straw on this sofa is Gantha work from Calcutta. Every light fixture in the apartment is different. The beds and the cupboards and all were designed and then made off-site and then just installed at home. If you are planning to have a more is more aesthetic, you need to have places to put some of that more stuff away, clearly. So you have to plan for it. I fell in love with art because as a child, my nana, my grandfather used to take me often to Jangir Art Gallery, the National Gallery of Modern Art and so on. The moment I could, I somehow, my first two salaries got them together and bought my first painting. Everything I do in terms of my art, I curate around one sentence. The presence of absence. This moment when something is either about to happen or just after something has happened and how you're kind of living in that kind of residue. <laughs> Since I love Bollywood, I love Guru Dutt, so. There's Rehman Bhai who used to actually paint the Bollywood cinemas by hand in the 50s, 60s and 70s and I commissioned him to do a whole bunch of Gurudar posters for me. Post pandemic, because so much of work is at home, my desk was facing a wall, now my desk faces the window outside. I keep on changing the artwork behind it just so that people on Zoom get to experience different artworks. For some people home is a refuge, home is a calm place. For me, home is a place that turns me on. You have to live in it, right? So you have to make it work for you. Just don't give a bleep, bleep, bleep about what other people tell you. That's it. There's no way to live your life in terms of who you want to love, how you want to live. Have fun. Your home should be a joyous expression of who you are.